Dude, you're such a weirdo. Hi, Pudding Pop. You live under a rock? My mom is completely obsessed with social media. I'm addicted to social media because it gives me a chance to put my truth out there. Exercise my First Amendment right. I'm a United States citizen, and I want my rights back. Her favorite and only thing to post about is politics. It must suck to be a liberal. I like to post about the Republican Party. I have super strong opinions about how the country's being run, how the vaccines were being handled. We weren't the ones chasing each other and racing each other to the lab to be a lab rat. If you disagree with anything my mom has to say, she will come at you with full force. You better watch out. My mother definitely treats people on social media super horribly, super rude. I have called people losers because in my mind they're losers. My mom does this really annoying thing where she constantly, in all her videos, does this constant tapping on the screen. What I do is this. I tap on their forehead to make sure they understand what I'm saying. At one point, my mother had about 250,000 followers and she got the account banned. I've had four accounts suspended for bullying, harassing, and hate speech. I think it's ridiculous. The community guidelines are stupid. I don't think I'm doing anything wrong. People are mean to me. They're just so rude. When I tell my mom that she's completely out of line, she doesn't care whatsoever. If you don't like what I'm doing or saying, all you have to do is mind your business and scroll past. Because that was a ridiculous comment. So, what are you tapping on there? Your phone? Yeah. Yeah, the camera on the phone. Oh, I see. Yeah. And that's to what? Add emphasis? Yeah. Yeah, add emphasis and let them know that, hey, you're going to come to my page and you're going to try to insult me on my political beliefs. I'm going to tap you on the forehead and make sure you understand that that's not going to happen today at all. And does that have any effect on people? Yes. Really? Actually, actually, it does. It actually triggers them more, so it gives me. So they do it more. Yeah, it gives me great content to put out there. Uh, does oh this bother God. you? It bothers me. Uh, what do you say to her about it? I say she bullies people online. She goes through the comments and just looks for comments of people saying mean stuff to her, my and comments. just makes comments back to them. So she says, seeks it out. She seeks it out, and then she says that she's defending herself, mm -hmm. and then picks a fight with them mm -hmm. all is day she... long. 40, 50 videos a day. 20, 30. Really. 40, 50, this is you make a lot of videos. Three yeah. to four videos, Austin. Mm -hmm. What do you do in your spare time? I work. I'm a teacher. I'm okay. an instructor. Yeah. Well, yeah. What do you teach? I teach cosmetology and aesthetics. Okay. Mm -hmm. So glad you didn't say communication. <laughs> um, so uh, does she do this with people in person? She did have an interaction with someone in person at a pizza place when my sister was visiting. She got into a fight, phys not, not physical fight, verbal fight with a guy wearing a mask and said, why don't you go hide under the table you live? And it's, it's on her TikTok. Um, Made can, my I, sister can I clarify cry. what happened oh, sure. there? We were waiting in line at a pizzeria. The guy walked over to me, and this is when I had my mask here. He goes, you're making me uncomfortable. And I went, huh, excuse me. <laughs> and he goes, he goes, you're making me uncomfortable. You need to wear that mask correctly. I'm like, are you ordering me to wear this mask correctly right now? And you're scared, and you're standing right here in my face. You're right here telling me I'm making you uncomfortable. Well, guess what? You're making me uncomfortable. So you might want to back up a little bit. I was like, and number two, if you're this scared to be out in the public right now, you should stay home and hide underneath your table and leave the public alone and mind your business. Because I'm not one to put up with that. If you're going to approach me, I'm going to come at you, period. It is what it is. I was taught to if, don't start, but if somebody comes to you, finish it. Gotcha. Um, now, I, I found that when people do things in pattern, it's usually for a reason. Yeah. And what's your payoff? Uh, my payoff is my, you know, my ability to just speak my First Amendment right. Let, let people know that if you're going to come up to me, I'm going to squash you. Period. So basically, if you're running a social media page, if somebody comes up to you and insults you, during TikTok, it gives you the ability to take their comment, their slandering comment, put it up there and say, hold on a minute. You're not going to do this to me. Let's go ahead and have a conversation. That's when I tap on the forehead and say, why are you coming to me? What he said, I don't go around TikTok trying to find a fight. They come to my page. I don't surf liberal TikTok. They come to conservative TikTok. And they have something to say, except they're bullies. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.